first heard the term sidebar when I was negotiating the multi-billion dollar TV theatrical contract when I was an officer with SAG-AFTRA. And the sidebar is a sidebar conference in a court of law, a discussion between the lawyers and the judge held out of earshot of the jury. And um, in the spring of 2020 is when Michael told Archangel Michael, I, whom I work with in my, my psychic work, told me that I was going to be doing these readings for you guys here on YouTube. And now is the time. So these sidebars are these little conferences, short little tidbits of information pertaining to a situation going on in your life right now that's going to be my psychic channelings for all the 12 signs. And then we get a little bit of tarot on it. And it's just a little bit of a little bit of discussion held out of earshot of the people in your life that this pertains to, to give you a little bit more information um, as, as it's guided. So enjoy. Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Welcome to your private one-on-one -on -one sidebar conference with me. A little, little bitty little tidbit of information that could be very useful to you as you head back into some situation, something going on in your life that has a broader, bigger context. I have a psychic download for you, of course, and what she showed me, it's really interesting. It's sort of face on, really like shoulders forward, you looking at an entire horizon. You're, like, you're out in nature, you're somewhere where you really can see as far as the horizon where there are no buildings there are no there's nothing between you and like literally the horizon the sky is orange the sun is setting and it just looks so vast it just looks so it just looks like so much open space and so freeing and it just feels like a very Like you're not afraid of it. You're not afraid of kind of what's beyond it or going towards it or the vastness of it. You're not really afraid of any part of it. You're actually very... It's weird. It's almost like an acceptance, like a form of acceptance and... It's not excitement like you're jumping for joy type of excitement. It's weird. It's like acceptance plus excitement. Like very serious. Like the tone is very, very, very serious. Sorry, I don't want to, I don't want to like ruffle and rustle the mic. Okay. Let's go ahead and get you some tarot. And see what other messages want to come through for you, my dears. So this is coming up in a situation between you and someone or you in some area of your life and it's something that you just don't see the end of. You don't see the end of the tunnel. You don't see the outcome. You don't see a probable outcome or if you think you do, you're not very optimistic that it's going to go your way or in a way that is pleasing to you or the ideal outcome. There's just something hard to reconcile with that this week you will. You really will. It, but I'm getting the, the heavy acceptance. Strength. And the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. All right, Aquarius. This is a little interesting because it's almost like it's difficult for you to cultivate a certain generosity in your spirit and what I was picking up is that acceptance it's like a letting go like a real letting go of the outcome or expectation or the situation the whole situation itself there's like this epic letting go and what I'm feeling with this energy is kind of the opposite it's kind of 
this two of swords, it feels like you're still almost like a tug of war with that rope. Like you're still trying to pull on one side. And so it stays taut. It stays because of that tension. Whereas if you just let go, it's all gone. You don't want to give in. You don't want to give up. You don't want to, or it could be the other way around Aquarius and you don't want to ask for help. Mm. You don't want to ask for what you need from a person that you're close to, or even someone that you're not close to. You don't want to ask what you need from a boss or from a coworker. <clears throat> Either way, you will, you will be challenged to overcome these serious thoughts, getting very serious thoughts. It's, I, you know this already, you really do. This is something inside of yourself that it's more, I don't think you're confused. I really don't. I really am not picking up the confusion of the Two of Swords. I really am picking up Aquarius that you are Sorry, I'm sorry if that distressed you. Um, I'm really picking up that you are just resistant to doing what you've got to do. And either opening up, asking for help, or asking for an opinion, or asking for something, or opening up and being generous with your kindness. Maybe it's money. I'm not really picking that up. I'm picking up like giving someone the benefit of the doubt or being very forgiving in a situation or understanding or it's like you just kind of don't want to take that. <laughs> it's kind of like you don't want to take that higher road, but you will feel better when you do because you don't realize that that, that tug of war that you think that you're holding on to it's not between you and someone else. It's not keeping you and someone else together. It's not keeping anyone close to you. It's just in yourself. It's just you and you being dissatisfied or being like unfulfilled or that inner tension. It's just in you and you. And when you let go, the tension releases. Okay. Okay. Could be dealing with a Leo sun moon rising as well. This could apply to them. Everything that I've just said. So take that as it resonates. Okay. I hope that this has helped you a little bit, Aquarius. Very, very serious thoughts lately. I know you have Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter transiting your 12th house. That's not, it's not for the, not for the week of heart. That's for sure. So keep on keeping on and it will all be okay, Aquarius. It will. And if you're looking for any more readings and channelings, I am on Patreon. And remember, I'm sprouting this everywhere. Patreon will charge you at the first of every month, not 30 days from when you first sign up. So if you're watching the Patreon and seeing the posts and something looks interesting, either bookmark it and start your pledge on the first of the month or just try to get it in at the near the beginning. Otherwise, it'll charge you, you know, if it's the 30th, it'll charge you again on the 1st. So I just want to make sure that you guys are taken care of. So um, I am still a psychic spy. I still do that. It's just a little bit up there on the website. So that's why I'm really happy to recommend Keen in that description box below is their link. They have a much better price point and they are the largest network of psychics all over the world. So give those guys a try. They're really cool. And what else? There's classes that I offer every single month too on the Patreon. So if you guys are interested in doing your own psychic work, doing your own psychic tarot readings, learning your own practical forms of magic and practical forms of energy work, check it out. Try it for a month. Toggle up, toggle down. I am just grateful and happy that I can offer these services to you and support you and your growth and your adventure here on planet Earth. So 
With that, my loves, I bid you adieu until next week. Take very good care, Aquarius, and I will see you then. Many beautiful blessings upon all of your beautiful heads. Mwah.